Hi everybody, this is your introductory video for week two. So I just wanted to check in and make sure that everybody is okay with all the assignments for week one. Remember, if you have any questions or anything looks weird or you're confused about any, anything, just send me an email or message me through the Canvas inbox and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. So for this upcoming week, week two, we are getting into a couple of the core areas of linguistics that you were introduced to in week one. And those are going to be phonetics and phonology. Now I want to give a, somewhat of a disclaimer here. This material is technical. There's a lot of information that's coming at you and we just have to go through it really, really quickly. I have given you a variety of different types of activities and exercises to do this week. If there's one or two that you are just really, really struggling with, don't stress out about it too much. Each one of the exercises is not worth a huge amount of points, so it's designed that way. So in case you don't do well on one or two of them, it's not going to kill you in the class. Do um, reach out to me if you can. Try to spend some time before the due dates, like a couple days before the due dates, looking over the information and just making sure that you somewhat understand it so that you have time to ask me questions or um, get clarification from me or even send me a first draft of your assign of, of your answers. So you can send me you know what you think are answers a couple days in advance and then I will let you know yes that one's right, no this one is not right, you know think about it in a little bit different way and um, so that should help you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the specific assignments and we're just going to, um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of them so you know what you're getting into. Okay, so let's take a look at Canvas. Now you can see that there's a week two button and so when you click into that it's going to take you to the summary and when you look at the summary you'll see the due dates three assignments due Wednesday, two Friday, and then three Sunday. So we have a lot of assignments for this week. So just make sure that you are giving yourself plenty of time and you are scheduling your week correctly so that you'll have time to work on each of these. Okay, so as we go through, there's uh, the first thing is a quiz and the quiz is based on this reading. So read through it first, then take the quiz, see how you do, and then um, if you need to improve your grade, then you can go back to the document and look for the answers of the ones that you missed. Okay, um, the next one is an exercise. And for the quiz, we were introduced to the International Phonetic Alphabet. For this exercise, you are now going to use it to give me the answers. So for part one, I'm giving you the IPA symbols and then you have to tell me what the word is in English. And then for part two, now what you're doing is taking the English word and really the key here is, is you really want to concentrate on the sound and not the spelling. So take the word, say it in your head, forget about how it's spelled, and then find the symbols that represent that sound. I have a short video on how to do transcription, but if that still is really hard for you, just get in touch with me and I'll try to walk you through it. Again, this is a great example of an assignment that you could send me your first draft answers and then I will give you feedback and let you know at least if that you're on the right track. Okay, then we have a um, short video and this is comparing vowels in Spanish and English. So watch the video and then you're going to just answer the questions. Now we're moving on to the Friday assignments and there's a quiz on phonology. The quiz is based on this PowerPoint and then I also have a video that takes you through not all of the slides but just some of the slides that need um, some more explanation and at the very end I've got a video by another linguist who's explaining about phonemes and allophones which are an important concept. For the phonotactics exercise, what we're really doing here is trying to find the rules of how words can be pronounced in English. So I've got a little description that I wrote 
And then the rest of the rules here are taken from different sources. And here are some syllable examples. Here's an example of what I want you to do. So um, if this were the example, the answer is the word do. Okay, so just give me one single word and that fits into the consonant, vowel, consonant pattern. And remember, it's not spelling, it's sound. So be really careful about that. And again, you can send me a first draft if you get this done a, about a day in advance, and I'll let you know if you're on the right track. For this assignment, I'm really asking you to do a lot of thinking here. What I'm doing is giving you the consonant phonemes of English and then looking at the phonology of Hmong. And I really want you to think about Hmong learners learning English and English learners learning Hmong, going back and forth between these two languages, considering the fact that the phonologies of the languages have a lot of differences. Okay. So let me know if you need any help with that one. And then this is really a nice article about how the ideas of phonology apply to reading and teaching reading. So go ahead and read through the article and then you're going to answer my questions. Now <clears throat> I do want to point you out to these tips for blog posts. So for blog posts for my classes, think about it as sort of an informal essay. You don't really have to have you know, an introductory paragraph and a concluding paragraph and body paragraphs and all that. Um, but do sort of think about it that way, where you're going to give me a little bit of an introduction at the beginning and then kind of wrap up at the end. And you don't have to worry about you know, a formal documentation style like MLA or APA. Uh, I do realize that a lot of you are going to be looking for outside articles, and that's fine, but just make sure that you're giving me the link or the name of the article that you used. If you want to add pictures or any kind of visual representation, then please feel free to do that. It makes it really um, interesting for your classmates to you know, look at and understand what you're saying and kind of get the idea of the lesson that you're talking about. And remember for a discussion board, which we did in week one, you are required to reply to two of your classmates. But for blog posts, you're not. Just post it up there. If you want to read what some of your classmates are writing about, feel free. But you don't have to, and you don't have to respond. And then finally, one last assignment and that is listening to a short podcast. Um, it's called The Cult of Pedagogy, and I really recommend if you're a podcast listener to um, subscribe to this podcast and start listening to it. It's really, really interesting. You know, 20, 25 minute episodes, and they all deal with some aspect of teaching. She talks about a lot of different issues that have to do with teaching, not just linguistics. So if you're into that sort of thing, I do recommend it. OK, we've got a lot of work to do this week. Don't wait till the last minute. But again, if you fall behind, don't stress out too much. Just get in contact with me, and we'll you know, strategize about what to do to catch you up. OK, let me know if anything comes up or you have any questions. I'll be around all weekend and all next week ready to respond to you. OK, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.